channel. So, in today's video, I am so excited. Because why? Well, I have finally gotten in both my... Oh my goodness. Can I have any more stuff up on this table? I don't think so. But... I'm really excited. I have gotten in finally my base box. I have been waiting on this little sucker for so long. So I had my um, premium box, but I like to do boxy versus boxy. And I've been waiting on this one. This one just wouldn't come, wouldn't come, wouldn't come. But they're both finally here. We can get into a boxy versus boxy. See which one is the best deal for our money. See what products I got. If you're interested in seeing that, then just keep on watching. My name is Jeannie. This is Unfiltered 50s on this channel. I am 51 years old. I love makeup. I am a huge makeup enthusiast. I just love everything makeup, beauty. Oh, I'm just... It's just my thing. It's what I love, and I just love colorful makeup, indie makeup, good makeup, whether it's uh, cheap, expensive, or anything in between. I love it. And I really, you know, even though I get a little irritated at times, I do love Ipsy and I love Boxy Charm. But, um,. Sometimes I wish I didn't. Sometimes I wish I didn't. But let's get into it. If you want to see what I got in my box, then just keep on watching. We're getting into it next here on Unfiltered 50s. And let me encourage you, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love it. I'm pushing near the 3K mark. And you know I do great milestone giveaways. And so if you haven't taken the time to subscribe to my channel, go ahead, click it. It's really easy and it's free. I don't even charge for it. It's that big red subscribe button down below. And while you're there, ring, ding, ding, that post notification bell. That way you don't miss a video. And we're going to get started with the video right now. Okay, guys, let's get into it. And I am going to start with um, the premium box. If you don't know anything about BoxyCharm, this is a $35 a month subscription box service that BoxyCharm offers. I'm the one that orders it. BoxyCharm offers it. And in this box, this is supposed to be a little bit more cush, a little bit more luxe, a little bit nicer than their base box. You're supposed to get a little bit nicer brands. And you know what? I haven't been seeing that lately. So, I don't know. What's going on, BoxyCharm? Are you saving all them products back for that pop-up shop, Joe? Is that what you're doing? Because that's what I'm thinking you're doing. I'm thinking you double dipping on us a little bit. Yeah. Um, which is probably working because my happy ass is over there spending money on the pop-up shop. <sighs> which I wish that I had enough, like... Discipline. That's the word. I wish I had enough discipline not to do that, but I don't. So, you know, his um, business model is working very well for him and not so good for me. But anyway, this is $35. It's supposed to have a little bit better brands. And you know what? That is not what I'm seeing. It started out that way, but all of his real good stuff goes in the pop-up shop. So anyway, um, when you open it, you know that it's premium because right there on the box it says premium. And um, so, yeah, it has this little piece of foam, and I'll do like, and uh, there's your little sneak peek. Oh, not too much, not too much. <laughs> do y'all watch Anne Rankin? Just, uh, just Anne. That's what she does. She's not too much, people. <laughs> love her. So anyway, um, this month it is Boxy Charm um, Glam Vibes Only. And I do like um, the theme and uh, the name of it. But if you're going to call this Glam Vibes Only, put me something glam up in this box, Joe. I need something glam up in here. Although I will have to say I am liking the box. I am liking the box spoiler alert. I first of all I was really excited to see the um Ola Henriksen 
um, Fat Glow Facial up for grabs in the box. Now, spoiler alert, um, I have used this. Uh, it is really, really nice. It is very much like the uh, Sakuri Baby Facial from Drunk Elephant, which is very, very nice. The difference is this is instead of an AHA, BHA product, this has PHAs in it. And a PHA is a little uh, heavier, molecularly weighted, that is, than an AHA product. What that means for you is that it's going to sit on top of your skin and not dive as deep down into the layers of your skin, which is really great. I was so excited about this product because it means that it is really going to do something for that texture on your skin. If you have skin texture, this is wonderful. It is an award-winning award product. It really takes off that top layer of skin. You can use this up to twice a week is what I would recommend if it's your first time using anything like a chemical exfoliator, AHA, BHA, PHA product, then you might want to do a patch test right there behind the back of your ear or you might want to just use this one time a week. I usually do a chemical exfoliator um, it depends upon the time of the year and how dry and flaky my skin is, um, but sometimes if you over exfoliate, it can actually cause your skin to be more dry and flaky, so I usually stick to like once a week, every week, religiously I do this, um, either with my ordinary AHA, BHA pill, or I do have the Sakuri Baby Facial, but I really love this one because this is, um, the uh, ordinary is a 10 minute process. Um, the Drunk Elephant is a 20 minute process and this falls right in the middle with a 15 minute. I even ordered one of these as a backup in the pop-up shop because it was such a great deal, but I am loving it and your skin feels like a smooth baby's bottom when you use this. It does come out, I'll show you how it looks, it comes out um, sort of pink like the Baby Facial. It is a very thick, almost like, uh, looks like bubble gum. It does kind of come out <laughs> and string, if you will. But that is just the nature of the product itself. It's a beautiful product. Had to grab my... <laughs> my uh, microfiber cloth and get that off my fingers. It retails for $50. That is a very fair price for this product. Very good product. Then um, I got the um, Emma Hardy Brilliance Facial Oil Overnight Treatment. It says that it increases elasticity, balances the skin, antioxidant protection, increases moisture levels. Um, this has um, so, so I can understand why they would put this in the box. The Sakuri Baby Facial, it comes with a little vial of the Marula oil um, because sometimes whenever you get done with a PHA facial, then you really need to add a little bit um maybe, you know, follow it up. It is their recommendations to follow it up with a facial oil. So I can understand why this is in the box. However, here's the thing that I feel about this. I, I like the oil. Um, I think it's in a very, very nice package. It's a beautiful package. The package is very, what I would call bougie, which I love anything bougie, if you know me. Um, it smells rather <laughs> some people have been saying it's stinky so my idea of stinky and your idea of stinky might be different because I don't think so I think it smells very ci um, citrony <laughs> that's not the word it smells very citrus smelling it smells a little lemongrass ish a little orange peel-ish, but my point is, is that it has citrus oils in it, which is not always the best thing to have in a facial oil. That's the issue that I have with this, 
is that it has um, orange, mint, vanilla, geranium, chamomile, lemon, rose, lavender, omega-3, which all help to increase moisture levels. Okay, fine, so you say. But what you're not saying um, is that lemon, uh, orange, orange, any citrus type oils is not the best choice for a facial oil. That's what they're not telling you. Will I use this? I will use this, yes, because I don't have an issue so much with those type of oils being in my facial oil. They don't seem to break me out. I rather really like the scent, but I would have preferred an argan oil or a marula oil just to straight up to be in my box to go along with the facial. This is also an oil that you could probably use in your hair, on your body, on your cuticles, so I'm not mind minding getting this. However, I do think the box has been a little heavy lately with facial oils, cuticle oils, body oils, oil, oil, oils. I really would like to see the box cut back on some of the amount of oils we are getting. When I first saw it, I was like, oh my God, please. Do you have to give me another facial oil? This was another product that I am thrilled to get my hands on. This is the um, Kitsch Cleanse Ritual Ice Roller for Overworked Sensitive Skin. I have used this already. I have super bad migraine headaches. I get Botox injections for that reason. And this is so soothing. If you've ever had Botox injections for migraines, you know that when you get home from that appointment, you do not feel good. It really kind of wipes you out for a while. And this feels, even without, I have not put this in the refrigerator yet. This is the best facial roller I have ever, like the rest of my rollers can go in the trash. I really want to go back on pop-up and get another one of these. Um, so I have one at my desk. I really need one at my desk, one by my bed, and one in my beauty room. This is such a beautiful product. It's cooling. It's soothing. It's I need one in my travel bag. I really think I need four of these. We shall see. I don't know. I may end up picking up another few. <laughs> these, these are so good. So if you were one of the lucky people who got this in their box, it's so wonderful. So this, uh, the Emma Hardy facial oil was 55. And this roller is 18. That's bringing my box to uh, 123 so far. So we're doing pretty good. Um, then I got um, the Frank Body Peppermint Copy Scrub. And at first I was like, oh my God, not the Frank Body. <laughs> because I was like, you know, um, I'm worried about using this in the shower. I'm worried about it clogging my drain. I'm worried about, you know, all of these different things that I worry about with coffee grinds going down the shower. But this is very good for cellulite. It's very good for circulation. It's very good product if you want a coffee scrub or a body exfoliator. And then I thought, oh wait, let me take that back. My daughter's getting married. I need to self-tan. <laughs> this is one of those times where I really do need the Frank body. This is one of those times where I really can use this product. Wait a minute. Let me take it back. Woohoo! <laughs> Thanks, Boxy! <laughs> this came at just the right moment in just the right box. Again, another uh, zero to hero product for me. I'm all excited about that. This is actually an $18.95 product. And we're up to $141.95.
So, then I got the Milk Makeup. This is their, you know, I love Milk Makeup Kush Lip Scrub Gamage. And this is what it looks like. It is just um, very reminiscent of the Fenty product that I have in my bag right now. I will tell you, this is not scrubby. <laughs> the Fenty product is an actual scrub. If you are wanting a scrub, this does not have enough grit to it. I would definitely say, ooh, love that. It is magnetic. The Fenty product is better because it has an actual scrub to it. If you are looking for a product that is a scrub that actually is in a tube format, the Fenty product is very nice, but this has a good smell. I think it's very moisturizing and I'm very excited to have this in my collection because winter time's coming. I can always, in my neck of the woods, use a good um, lip moisturizing stick type product on a bullet. I rather like to have my moisturizer on a bullet. It's a very nice packaging. It will look very nice in your handbag. Just to put on your lips, go. It's very silky, not sticky, not tacky, but nourishing. Feels very nourishing. I'm really liking this. Um, what was in everyone's boxes, which is the Queen, uh, palette from Eloise. The queen lies in all of us. And it has quite a few mattes, quite a few sh uh, shimmers. It's a very colorful palette. Um, it's not really what... I'm really not that impressed with um, this palette. If you want to know the truth, it just really does not call to me. Um... I'm not quite sure what I think about this palette. Um, I have this color story in a lot of other palettes. I may um, put this in a giveaway. If it wasn't in boxy, it's definitely not a palette that I would gravitate towards. It's not anything that I necessarily would have chosen. But, you know, it's okay. It's something... You know, honestly, this is not what made the box for me. And before we get too much further into this, I forgot, and I'm so bad about this, but for my premium box, my version or my variation number was number seven. So I had variation number seven for my base box. My base box card... I do have um, variation 44, just so you know. I knew I had forgotten something um, because I was talking to Robin about it and she had done the math on hers and had come up with a different number. So I was like, how is that right? So once again, Robin saves the day. So what happened with the um, premium add up was I forgot to add on the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Scrub. And that brings my total to $209.95 or $210. Again, the base box is $25 value. This is a monthly subscription uh, service provided by BoxyCharm. It is their original product and it comes with usually five products in the box. For the $25 investment, let's see how we did this month. And again, it's still the same glam vibes only. And this is what my box is looking like. Just a little peek there. And <laughs> just to give a little tribute to Anne. And um, what I did choose was the Pharmacy Cheer Up eye cream. I do like the pharmacy brand and I've been dying to try some of their um, cherry products. And so this was my chance to get this little eye cream. It is a very small bottle um, jar, sorry, but it is on par with everything else. It's on par with the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright eye cream. And so yeah, I'm really excited 
to try this. It feels pretty good underneath the eye, so I'm really hoping for the best on that. Not a strong scent at all, so very good. That was a $45 value. So $45, then I got the Billion Dollar uh, Brows Beauty Sponge. It says it is a vegan and charcoal infused. And um, it rather looks, feels good, and it feels pretty much like a Beauty Blender dupe. And it's got the Billion Dollar Brow symbol on it. So yeah, I'm pretty happy to have this. And that is a $15 value. Uh, Laura Geller, the Volumizing Brush Vava Volume for Mega Lashes. So this is Lash Boss Bold. And I'm really excited for this. I think that um, this gets a lot of good reviews on it. And this is 24 volume, uh, 24 volume, a $24 value. I probably shouldn't open this because I have a lot that I need to use up, but I'm interested in it and I wanna see the brush. Okay, the brush looks a little bit like Maybe, what is it? What's it called? Oh my goodness. It's not one of my favorites, um, the type of brushes on these. I usually like a more plastic type brush like Bad Gal Bang Mascara by Benefit. Those type of brushes that are plastic. This is more of a, like almost like a bristly type brush, um, spooly type, um, but the, um, the Too Faced, It's the one that Lash Paradise is a dupe for. So I can't even think of it because um, I don't buy it. <laughs> I never buy that. I always, if I wanted it, I would buy the Lash Paradise. But um, I am interested in trying this. I'm going to try this on today. Then, oh, so thrilled. So absolutely thrilled to get this in my box. It is the color Lust. It is the Hank and Henry. Um, this is their satin matte lipstick. They're new one in the Sex Talk um, collection. And you just push it down to get it out. You just push. And it just pops out the bottom. But it doesn't come completely out. You have to pull it. And it is just gorgeous. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. And um, the shade, let's swatch it. Uh, oh my goodness, oh it's beautiful. Oh, I love this color. It's really mostly a lip liner that I have on there, but I just want you to be able to see this color. Oh, I love it. Oh, that is so pretty. So the little shimmers do go away once you start using it. Mm, that is a very nice nude. And this is the color called Lust. So mm, I really like it. What a great nude. Mm, so perfect. And I can use just a little bit of my City Lips on top. I really like it to be more glossy, mm, but that is perfect. Oh, just with your city lips right on top. Oh, and here is, again, the color. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my goodness. I love it. And then, of course, that is $18, what I wanted so bad, which is the Spanglish palette. So, I want to put together a look really, really quickly. I'm going to do that off camera. I'll be right back and then we'll talk about the palette. Okay, guys, I am back and I have my face finished with uh, using the lovely Spanglish palette from Alamar Cosmetics. I'm a big Alamar fan and I did use this to create this look. I am living for this. So I used this, 
the other things that I'm living for, I have to admit it, the Ace Beauty uh, bronze palette that I got in Boxy Lux, the Ace Beauty Blushed in Paradise that I picked up off of Mercari that I was not lucky enough to get, but I was lucky enough to find on Macari. I love these palettes. They are absolutely gorgeous. They blend out like a dream. They're not patchy. They are some of the best powder face palettes that I have in my collection, and I just love them. So I do have that on. I have basically a full face of Boxy. I've got on one of my favorite products I've ever gotten in the box, which is the Hourglass Arch in Ash. This is so good. I love it. I'm hooked on that now. I've got on the uh, Lust uh, Satin Matte Lipstick in Lust from Hank and Henry. I do have on the... Lash Boss Bold Volumizing Brush from Laura Geller. This is probably going to have to be a fail for me because I don't like the brush. Um, so I gave up. I have it on this eye. I have the new um, Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes from my girl Charlotte Tilbury on this eye. I love it. It has the type of wand that I love. Plus, it's more like a comb. I knew it was too much like the Too Faced product. Um, better than Sex Mascara. That's what the wand reminds me of on this. Most likely, it will just be decluttered. My box is coming in at a total of $130 for the base box. $45 on the Cheer Up eye cream. We have the Alamar coming in at $28. The Hank and Henry coming in at $18. We've got the Laura Geller lashes coming in at $24. And then the Billion Dollar Brow Sponge that's coming in at that's what I got in my box. I am loving this box this time. So $130 for my $25 investment and I got the products that I was really hoping for and I love the look. If you picked up premium and you got a Fenty highlighter, this is um, 7 Day Weekend and Poolside. And if you did, I just wanted to show you one of the absolute lovely, lovely things that you can do with this. So one of the things that you can do with these, depending upon mm, what look you're going for, and maybe this isn't exactly uh, the look that I've got created. That's why I waited till the end, because maybe the look that I've got going on isn't the best to show you with. But you can use these as shadow toppers. And I'm just going to add some of Poolside right to the middle mobile lid. And these just go on with your finger so good. And this works for the Alamar Spanglish palette as well as if you got the hip dot. If you just put these on your mobile lid as a lid topper, it can really zhuzh up your look and really make it pop. And just give a little bit of a different depth and hue to the look that you've got created. So I just wanted to show you how that you can really kind of add a little bit with these. You can also use the lightest color kind of as a brow bone highlight. So I'm just going to take the seven day weekend color and just pop this right here as my brow bone highlight. That is this one on this side. This was in 
I don't know, I may have said premium, but it was in the Lux box, and I did not pick up the Lux box this time. I wanted the base because I really wanted that Spanglish palette. And then um, you can also take on something like a really fine duo fiber, small duo fiber. This is um, Ruby by Hank and Henry. And you can just go ahead and use that as your highlight and just bring your look together. Ruby, don't take my love to town. What was that, Kenny Rogers? Okay, and so there you have it. There's the final look. That's using some products from Lux, uh, mostly base, and then I have used my premium box. Boxy was a win, win, win for me this month. I'm loving it. And I couldn't be happier with the way that the look turned out. What did you get in your base box? What did you get in your premium box? You know I'm nosy. And I'm going to want to know. So leave it down in the comments section below. Let me know. Did you get anything that I got? Did you get anything different? Are you liking what you got? Did you get good stuff? Not so good stuff? Did you get any filler product that you were like, oh, I want to know what's going on with Boxy Charm. You know I'm nosy. If you haven't signed up for my channel, then I would love it if you would take the opportunity to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Go ahead and ring ding ding that post notification bell so you don't miss a thing. We're pushing towards the 3K mark. Come on, guys. Let's get us there so we can do a big milestone giveaway. I'm so excited about that. So yeah, let me know. I look forward to hearing from you and I will see you in my next video. Smitches everybody and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.